Guys, K Dog's Kennel coming at you on YouTube with some more of the quarry. I took a uh, a day off yesterday. I apologize for that. Um, so, but we are back uh, tonight, and um, we are going to we're either going to wrap up the game tonight, or we're going to wrap it up tomorrow. I'm not really sure. We're still in chapter nine. Um, not really sure how much more we have left to go of the game. I do know we have one more chapter, that being chapter ten. Um, so yeah, we're going to do what we can in this video, um, tomorrow morning, um, those who know me, know that know that follow me and, and whatnot, that know what is going on. I have my ultrasound, uh, tomorrow morning on my right leg. Um, those that do not know or are not aware, um, uh, I have been battling a large blood clot in my right leg, uh, since, uh, the end of April, um, all signs are pointing to some really good news. I just this is just a follow up ultrasound just to make sure that the uh, the clot is still dissolving as it should. Um, so I will be going to uh, Methodist Hospital, which is uh, not far from my house, um, tomorrow morning to get that done. Um, in, in addition to that, it will be the first time I have set foot inside that hospital uh, since my mom passed away uh, just over four years ago. So. Gonna be a, um, a a tough day or tough morning, at least getting there, you know, going there and whatnot. But uh, once I get home, I'll be fine. But uh, that is uh, that is what is on tap for tomorrow. So uh, those of you who uh, um, think of uh, just uh, keep me in your thoughts tomorrow, uh, I have absolute no doubt whatsoever. Tomorrow will go just fine. Um, I am a fighter. Um, and, uh, that's a freaking promise, man. I'm going to beat this damn thing. Um, so yeah, I'm not really too worried about it, but, uh, just keep me in your thoughts tomorrow morning as I go for this ultrasound. Um, like I said, that is, uh, the plan tomorrow morning. Um, in addition to that, like I said, either if we don't finish up the quarry tonight, which we may not, um, I will finish the quarry tomorrow. Uh, then my next, uh, I'm going to be doing a full-fledged walkthrough, of the quarry where everyone is surviving. I actually found a really neat step-by-step um, -step guide, if you will, um, to uh, let everybody survive, also finding all the tarot cards and all that stuff. Um, so I will be doing that uh, tomorrow. Well, oh, not maybe not tomorrow, I, but um, also have a, uh, a request. Uh, actually, I had a couple requests to uh, play Little Nightmares. Um, I'm going to take a look at that tomorrow during the day just to see what it is. I already got it downloaded. It's ready to uh, to rock and roll. I just kind of want to play a little bit of it just to kind of get a feel for it. Um, I've heard it's not that long of a game. I mean, I'm more th I absolutely love taking requests because, honestly, um, I do what I do for you guys. I don't really do it for me. I do, I do do it for me, but um, it's you guys that watch my channel and watch my content, so... Um, my subscribers are more than wel welcome to, um, suggest things, um, for me to play. And, um, I mean, if it's something I can get into, hey, I'm, I'm all, I'm all in for that. Um, also Stray is on my agenda to put on the channel as well. Uh, downloaded that actually before I even got the quarry, um, uh, before I started the quarry. Um, and, uh, so I do want to get that up as well, because I've heard that's not too long of a game either. Um, so yeah, but, uh, enough of, uh, all that, just kind of want to let you guys know what's going on, um, especially tomorrow morning, um, so, but that being said, we are going to jump in to, uh, we're going to be in control of Laura again in Chapter 9, um, so yeah, let's jump right in, my friends, to the quarry. Still at the Hackett family house, I see. Needs a rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out. Maybe I'm done being chased and stabbed. 
Sure. And another way out. Fine. <clears throat> yeah, that's the whole like premise of uh, those that haven't really followed along or don't know what's going on. Chris Hackett is played by David Arquette, uh, who kind of made a appearance in like the I think one of the first couple parts of the game. Um, and hasn't been seen since. And apparently Chris Hackett is a werewolf as well. Um, so that's kind of... What the fuck? Watch your step. Yep. Yeah, he's not moving. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Oh, never mind, never mind. I forgot we pulled... The... Yeah, Ryan pulled the knife out of his side, stabbed... What was his name? Bobby, I think his name, or Billy, whatever the hell his name, but the big uh, burly guy. Um, and then Laura bit him turning him into a werewolf. Oh, what boy. Oh, hi. Oh, he's chained. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Boy. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck, Charles? <laughs> what just happened? Fight it! What the hell? Bobby's dead. No, no. Jedediah is dead. Jesus Christ. Hey. Shoot it. I don't even care who it is. Last time I didn't shoot one of those damn things, Abby got killed. I ain't fucking around. normal what oh you think this is over this isn't over uh, I don't understand Chris is dead huh. was that Chris that we well, Chris saw wasn't the first that's not possible Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? Who is Caleb? Wait, we've heard Caleb Caleb's name. Bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. We've heard that name, Silas. For years. He's a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. 
Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf. What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, buddy, go! At, at the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It's starting to make sense, yes. It all makes sense, yeah. He must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left. I almost Caleb. want to help him. I really do. Like <laughs> we, we can help those who are still alive. Oh, I, I, God, I don't want to, oh my God. This guy's been an asshole the whole game, but like for some reason, like in my heart, I want to be like, dude, like his family's been slaughtered. <laughs> like, I, I'm not going to be mean. I'm going to be suspicious. Why should I trust you? Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone uh, who's still alive, anyway. Okay, okay. So Above the law trophy. Travis and Laura agreed to work together. Very, very we nice. Exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? <laughs> also, a note, uh, we hit 70 subs on the channel. Um, so thank you guys so much for that. You that really means a lot to me. Whoa, what the fuck? You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? We found a lot of cards. The sun. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you. To find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Yo, game bro, how's it going, man? Judgment. Good to see you. The bells of judgment cried bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned, a fate deserved. Likely. But he may have his uses, though he won't forgive. He won't forget. The Hierophant. Where did you find this? Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. My poor boy. You see what that did to us? What the fuck? Hey, hey. No. What the fuck? <laughs> Is she what one of them too? Done? What have they done? Oh! What the fuck, man? What is happening right now? Is she a hack it too? Oh my god. Is that Silas? Silas! My boy! Oh, oh my god! 
Oh my god, like, the whole time, like, she's been, like, a part of this. Whoa! Jesus! What the hell? Oh. Oh. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> I was waiting for that to just completely not even have the option to move. Because we've heard the name Silas, like, throughout the game. Like... What the? The hell is that? She oh shit! What the? She <laughs> she's putting on her war paint. <laughs> <laughs> we going Comanche Indian in this Mommy's bitch. coming, Silas. Uh oh. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 that was it the tower I think that's what that does like do you get that card like it kind of like no 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 my poor boy you see what they did to us how oh, they hurt us he's out there still all alone each full moon they hunt him Armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid children. Little Silas. My little white wolf. He must be protected. So Silas is the, where this all started. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? You haven't done shit for me, lady. Remember how much I've done for you? No. <laughs> I really don't. Because <laughs> I haven't asked for your help. I mean, overall, this has been an amazing game. End of Chapter 9, there's the trophy. The Final Girl. Chapter 10, this is the last chapter. Where are we at time-wise? Uh, 18 minutes. We probably won't get this entire chapter in for sure, but... Oh, man. What the... Who what is the that? Fuck? Oh, that's Max. Why am I on top of a fucking tree? <laughs> Laura! This is crazy. Like, I... What? Max is covered in blood. How the hell am I going to get down? What? Oh. <laughs> Asked an answer. Uh. <laughs> I, I was going to say jump down, but I mean, falling down works too. I mean, you... <laughs> Where the hell am I? Oh, God. That was like... Asking you shall receive type thing right there. Like that was. So are we actually gonna control Max? I don't think we've controlled Max this entire game. Yeah, I was looking at the trophy list. Um, there's obviously 
keeping everybody alive is a trophy. Really? Killing everyone is a trophy. Uh, getting everyone infected is a trophy. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, gotta find Laura. All right, so now are we in, it looks like we are in control. Yes, we are in control of Max. Like I said, what the fuck? <laughs> That's a great looking outfit you got, buddy. <laughs> oh my God. What is that? That's that Harbinger just Hotel. Gone to the Harbinger Motel. Dude, you should have. Look at back. We should have. Oh fuck! That's right. They didn't give us an option to go to the motel. <laughs> so, uh, am, am I to presume that the hackets are all dead now? Because I think we shot Chris. Jedediah got completely destroyed. Bobby got destroyed. I think all the Hackets are dead. I'm not sure, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, obviously we're going to find out, but... Uh-oh. Yeah, don't don't put the hat. Oh my god, you look like a dork in a hat, dude. Take the fucking hat off. I mean, come on, seriously. Oh yeah, Travis is still alive. That's right. That's right. I got a trophy because we agreed to work with him. So yeah, I think he's the only hackett left. And maybe Silas. Apparently Silas, I don't know if he's a hackett or if he's just what the hell that's all about, but... I'm digging your outfit, Max. I really am, dude. Stay or swim to shore. Well, freaking Laura's here, swimming to shore. No, we're gonna stay. I. It's tempting to swim to shore, but like I said, Laura's still here. That's his woman. That's who he's, you know... It just seems, like, off-putting to swim to shore or leave your woman behind. I mean, come on, man. Be a man, man. Okay. Nice. Hopefully they realize the camp is closed and try the motel up the road. <gasps> okay. Okay, Caitlin. It rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back for a chance to get. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I mean... Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. Alright, so now we're Caitlyn. Need to get to a vantage point, so that's gonna be upstairs. I mean... I would think it's upstairs. I mean, a vantage point would be upstairs, but... I'm being nosy. Seeing what's it, what is this? What is this? The hell is that? Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Hmm. Yeah, they said dog tags that apparently aren't important. They're not even a clue. Which literally does nothing for me. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. There's a clue. Keep looking. Uh, prepare for attack. I'm going to keep looking. I mean, just in the aspect of... Maybe I don't know... Keep looking. I mean, something obviously is going to attack us, because it's... I mean, it wouldn't give you the option to prepare for an attack. 
Unless something was, like, shit was going to go down. Should we go in here? This is, uh... Never mind. I thought this was Hackett's office, but no, it's not. Actually, I don't know what, what, what the fuck. Rip, Ian. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Oh, yeah, Ian. Um, Sounds about right. We found his uh, collar uh, the very beginning of the game. All right. I know I said in this blind playthrough, I'm not really going to look for, like, clues and stuff, because God knows I've missed a fuck ton of them, so I'm I'm not really, like, brokenhearted, or I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, I missed a clue. Oh, my God. The whole next walkthrough, we'll do a walkthrough in the next uh, series of the quarry. Because, uh, like I said, I have a, um, a hellacious guide. Uh, I've actually been taking notes on it and whatnot. Um, so in the first walkthrough, we're going to be keeping everyone alive. And yes, that includes Abby. Um, we're going to be getting everyone infected to get that trophy. And then we're going to be doing all tarot cards and all um, evidence. Because for some reason, you cannot do all evidence, all clues, and all tarot cards in one run. That is kind of stupid, but be that as it may. So... Prepare for attack. Here we go. What do we got? Who is coming? You know why they call me FedEx? Because I fucking deliver. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh, shit. Shit is going down. Let's go. Showtime, motherfuckers. Bring it on. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot about Jacob. He's... Freaking camped out, hanging out, whatnot. Fuck this whole night. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. Oh. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <gasps> Yeah, Jacob kind of brought this all on. He's the one that stole the Roto arm out of the... They could have been gone, but no. <laughs> but, you know... Eh. Love's a crazy thing, man. <laughs> Just stay cool. When you love somebody, you'll do anything for them, so... Just breathe. All right, there's Emma. What the shit? <laughs> what the fuck, Charles? What the? Oh. Oh. Oh, hi. Where'd it go? Run or wait? Fuck it. Fucking run, bro. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize he was right there. Otherwise, I would have waited. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Barring a chair there is going to really work wonders. Oh, Caitlin, no. No, no, no. I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. Wait, why can't you help her? What the hell? What, baby kitty? Yes, I can. Silver shells. Come on. Come on, Caitlin. Come this way. Come on. This way. We'll get up here, Karis. 
talking to TV. Not baby kitty. Yeah. Beam window. Um, let's go beam. Come on, baby kitty. I hear you. Come on. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, come on. Come on. Shit, run. Or not run. Don't fucking run. Karis, I love your enthusiasm, but you're really not helping Daddy at this point. Oh, Jesus Christ. Run. Hide. Um, you know what? Let's hide. May not be the smartest thing we're going to do, but... I like this concept, like, just holding the button. Because, like, other, like, games like this, like, there's times, like, you have to legit hold your breath or hold the controller completely still. Otherwise, like, you'll fail. Like, it's crazy. I think it's until dawn. You actually have to hold the control at a certain, like, point and hold it there until it tells you not to. Run or investigate? Investigate, dude. She's got silver shells. Wow, honey. It's silver! Hey, I'm here! Alright, where are you, you bastard? Now I'm gonna put you down. Oh! Let's go, bitch. I missed him! No! Oh, no! I missed him! Oh, 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 my God. I fucking missed him. Oh, my God. God, man. Oh, my God. Well, Caitlyn's dead now, too, so we've lost two. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Inquisitive, what happened? Uh, how did you do it? You know what? What d Did he do it? Inquisitive. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened <laughs> in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? 
How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Oh! Jesus Christ! Grab the gun, take the wheel. You know what? Grab the fucking gun. He's on the roof. I can't reach the gun. Forget that. Just get it out. Take cover. Grab the gun. Fuck it. I'm grabbing the gun, dude. Oh fuck, Ryan's also a werewolf too. Oh Jesus Christ. Yes. Updated at Kill Silas. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This, this is, is where we went off. The I was mountain. literally about to say this is where the beginning of the game happened. This is where the game beginning of the game happened. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want. I won't stop you. What? Normally. I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Fucking do it, dude. We might finish the quarry tonight. Go team. Go after Silas. So yeah, this has got to be the end right here. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. I think. You think? Who was she? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. 
She kept her son in a cage. That's the woman. Called him Silas. The oh wolf. my god, this is all fucking connected now. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hack of hack is Corey. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, <coughs> gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Okay, that's why you've been hunting him. We could just kill Caleb. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Oh. Kind of a bitch move. I, I'm thinking we're nearing the end, guys. I think I'm, I think we're gonna. This, this episode's gonna go a little long. This is all that's left. And just wrap Jesus this up Christ. now. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same. Actually, I'm gonna just kind of see how how much is left. Because like I said, if we're nearing the end, I'm not really looking for anything. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. What the fuck? What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Raise the gun. Are you sure about this? Shoot. I'm sorry, but you know what? Get bent. Oh my god, man. Please, let's just let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that.
Yeah, I think uh, the White Wolf Gold Trophy, we killed Silas. I think we just beat the game, guys. I think we just beat the game. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. <laughs> not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. This is gonna haunt me now, I swear to God. Chapter 10, there it is, guys. That's the end of the game. We just beat it. Blind LP, only losing two of the nine characters. I would say that's fairly successful. Um, God, losing Caitlyn there at the very fucking end sucked. But... I don't know what we're looking at here. Max Brindley alive. Having survived the night, Max was cured of the werewolf, werewolf curse when Ryan shot Chris Hackett. Oh, God, I want to just read this really quick. Bobby Hackett deceased. Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. I love this. It's going through every character, whether they live or die. Jedediah deceased. Jedediah, Jed was massacred by his werewolf son, Chris. Chris Hackett. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor, Ryan, shot him with silver. Oh, my God. I forgot... Con Laura shot Constance's face off in a struggle for the gun. My God, that was unreal. Kaylee, Chris' daughter, Chris Hackett's daughter, Kaylee, was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for werewolf Chris. Abby, I am so sorry. Abby met her demise when Nick tore her head from her body. That was, I believe, part six. Jacob alive. Having successfully avoided an infection, Jacob was freed from the Hackett's basement and survived the night. Dylan alive. Dylan survived the night and was freed of the werewolf curse when Laura killed Silas. Nick alive. Nick survived the night and when Laura killed Silas, Nick's werewolf curse was lifted. Emma. Emma survived the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Oh, Caitlin, I am so sorry. Caitlin was killed by Caleb when she failed to shoot him. Caleb Hackett returned to his human form when Silas was killed. Holy crap, the hair on my arm is standing up right now. Travis Hackett alive. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan alive. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Laura is alive. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person who survived the night. Silas dead. Laura killed Silas the dog boy in his nest. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. Unbelievable. What a game, man. This was... I... This was awesome. This was absolutely freaking awesome. There will be subsequent playthroughs. Like I said, the next time I'm going to actually be doing a... Everyone survives... Um, playthrough where I'm going to be collecting some of the show you guys where stuff is in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that Anton? Bad journalism, murder mystery. Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes. I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say, but perhaps the journalists of North kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah. I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North kill. Probably not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. 
I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. <clears throat> That's something that a lot of podcast listeners... Like, part of me wants to... I could really care less about this so podcast, it just but... just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast! No one's listening! You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who... I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide <sighs> okay fine let's do this for anyone listening at home we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show if you are the one who sent us whatever it is congrats you got us sorry the tape is just really really there's just so much tape on the package sorry can you help me with this do you have like a key i could like slice at it with no i don't want you to dull my key just use your fingers but just give me your fucking key anton no give me your fucking key no get your own key it's not like you lock your door of course i lock my door what are you what are you hiding what am i hiding do you not lock your doors no i have nothing to hide you think that ghosts are real but you don't lock your doors no ghosts couldn't open my doors they could walk through my walls anton okay you need to be more concerned with murderers take a look Apparently, they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead <coughs> body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine, yes. you. It, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah. Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but... course you can't. What, do I have, like, a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing, he's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy! A cover-up! Don't you see? They're all in on it! I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe? Still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. 
I don't know. This is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there, too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them, too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera, and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage. I can't tell. Yeah, okay. That's not nothing. I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, crap, I can't. Never mind. Great, I, I have great, to sit... Great, you have to sit through this stupid fucking podcast. I'm sorry, but... They the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Like, um, like I said, losing two characters out of the nine, not terrible, back. but um, like I said, the fun yeah. in... The quarry is far from over, guys. There's going to be another couple playthroughs of this. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I might even do uh, the first part of my Everyone Survives run. I might do the prologue uh, before I go to bed. Um, so Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett classic bad guy name the seventh son of the trappers the number seven has great supernatural powers uh -huh. closed the mine down okay so then they only had the land to live off yes you say only but this land actually spans acres that's a lot of forest a lot of unexplored darkness Ooh, okay a great place to hide to have all these dark secrets for this strange reclusive family mm -hmm. and this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory okay here acres we go and acres of haunted woods if you say so i do say so and here's why Apparently, when I went to snoop around in Northkill, that place I stayed at, the Harbinger Motel... Uh-huh. They know someone who knows them, and they said the Hackett family are cursed! Oh, the staff at the Harbinger Motel in Northkill, New York, said that something happened? Well, then it must be true! Yeah, it was crazy. I struck up a conversation, and I didn't even bring up supernatural or curses. They brought it up first. Have you considered that maybe they're bored? Why? You work in a haunted hotel. What could possibly be boring okay, about that? Okay, a haunted motel. You're right, you're right. So apparently, since the quarry closed, they've been down on their luck. Hence, the scrapyard and the camp, trying everything to make enough money to get by. Are they cursed, or are they just bad with money? Maybe both. They said there was so much outrage when all the quarrymen were let go that it left a lingering stench of negative vibes on the family. Ah, yes, that famous unit of measurement, negative vibes. I mean, it's pouring off of you right now. Anyways, that's just what I heard, so I felt as though I must mention it. <coughs> you do you, buddy. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay. So what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo taken by one of the counselors. I'm a Mount Bank. Downloaded from her phone. Oh my god. Is that real? This is what we're here to discuss. It looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? I don't think so. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Oh, that's the picture she took. Yeah. What the hell 
is that? Bizarre, yet bona fide. <clears throat> what the hell happened? More than what we're being told. Man. There's something else, too. Yeah? Look what happens when I put it through a negative filter. What is that? It's her. The hag of Hackett's quarry. See? Full circle! I mean, that could be anything, dude. It, it barely even looks like a person. What's, what's that thing where your mind makes you see faces and shit? I can't believe you're still questioning this. What do you want me to say? Ultimately, unless I experience something myself, the most likely reasoning is that it's fabricated. Okay, then what do you think of this? Ew, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creatures supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Oh, convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So, what we've got here, this could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Wait, you believe it? I, I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? <gasps> Do you believe it? All of it? No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body, evidence they were there. This is real stuff, Grace. It's stacking up against the Hackett's. We might, yeah. we might actually we got, know something. We got a whole flapjack stack of evidence. Yes. So what do we do? Shut off the podcast and report this to somebody? What? No! <laughs> Anton, we finally have something going here. It's getting juicy. Yes, we have something real. We have actual people have actually died. This is actually crazy. Grace, you did it. Just take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No, say actually more ass. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyway, that is going to wrap up the blind Let's Play of the Quarry. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. I freaking did. I really did. Um, like I said, the next subsequent playthrough, we are going to be doing the Everyone Survives walkthrough. I'm going to be showing you guys where all the tarot cards are and where. Um, let me see. We will get uh, trophies unlocked from uh, this guide that we're going to be doing in the next subsequent walkthrough. Um, all 12 chapter related trophies and most collectible trophies. So, um, yeah. So I hope you guys will uh, stay tuned for that. Um, and then uh, in addition to that, we're also going to uh, we have to finish up Red Dead Redemption 2 yet. Um, and then uh, we're also going to get started on another game as well. So we're going to be keeping busy on the channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. And also <clears throat> the email that you can submit your question to for the 100 sub live stream Q&A I will be doing is in the description of this video and will be in subsequent videos as well. Um, so click on that to see how to submit your question and maybe your question can be read live on the air. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this part. I will probably do the prologue of the walkthrough portion um, before I go to bed because the prologue is not too long. Um, so that being said, guys, thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate that. Um, and once again, give this video a thumbs up if you would. It definitely helps the channel grow. And we'll catch you guys in the walkthrough of the quarry. Take care.